Well, bam! Uncle Herschel, welcome home. There's just something about whitetail fur and limestone that goes together for me like October and Shinerbach. Yes, y'all, welcome all back to the channel. Today is kind of an interesting day because I'm here at the house moving some more things. Gonna give you guys an update, little mini tour, and then we are going to actually step out into the woods where these guys live. And we're just gonna go see the rest of the property. I have yet to walk back into the woods, but since last time we were here together, I did set up a little camera. I put out some, uh, some, you know, some corn, some little orange corn deer attractant, and uh, there, there's some deer coming, coming in. It's pretty awesome. Of course, they're all nocturnal and stuff, but uh, there are definitely some deer back there. You know, I'm hoping that they'll come out in the daylight and we can see them while we're here at the house at some point. But it's gonna be pretty cool. And I just wanna go explore, see what is out there in the woods. And if you guys don't remember Uncle Herschel, I will remember him always. He's not the prettiest mount, but he's a really cool deer. He's one of my first archery deer. And I hunted with uh, Mike Owens, Mr. Eat Good himself, mullet man. And uh, this, was a, this was a buck that was like absolutely huge. And then he got really old. Went out on this hunt, we saw him, and uh, he still had his drop time, but he was uh, he was not as massive as he used to be. But a massive deer in my heart because he was just uh, a really good archery shot for me. Kind of kind of broke the ice of getting like a, a mature buck with an arrow. And uh, he's just a really cool deer, and his his antlers are very dark because all the cedar trees in Central Texas, the limestone. Well, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Guess what? Well, bam, got an Oklahoma deer right here. Gotta find a spot for him. Let's head up to the man cave. Chances are Uncle Herschel staying right there, like the wife coming in and uh, and letting that stay is probably pretty slim, uh, but I just wanted to give her a little something, you know, just check it out. Might might grow on you a little bit. Where he's most likely gonna end up though is, is the man cave, which I am, I'm like a little worker bee in here. It was right here in the garage. That's really all I need. So we got our LMB in here now. We've got we've got our crappie. Still meaning to get that tattoo, by the way, guys. Gosh, it's been so crazy. Time flies. But uh, that right there, I think, is one of the coolest drawings ever. And uh, shout out shout out to uh, Jeremy Zettler for doing that for me. Got a got a wood duck. That one was locally grown. I just kind of threw it up there. But um, I think we are going to put our Oklahoma deer over here, and uh, we'll do another deer right here. I've got, got a couple more. This deer actually uh, fell off its mount in our stairway of the other house uh, a couple years ago, and amazingly he didn't break, just busted his nose up, but anyway, he's got a few bumps and bruises. Smash the like button if you've ever vacuumed a deer or brushed it. It's got a lot of Cobwebs on the nose area. Well, I swear, even though this one dropped on its head, uh, I don't know where else is it gonna drop? Even though this one took a like 10 foot spill, I think it still looks better than Uncle Herschel. It's Uncle Herschel is missing his ear fur and up underneath the, uh, up back here, he's like all kind of. Fiberglass looking, is not very pretty. Oh shoot, sorry bro. Oh shoot, okay, that's not good. Oh, shiitake mushrooms, that's a loosey goosey. I don't think that's gonna work there, boys. Okay, that's not gonna work. Well, this is gonna be two strikes for me. Putting a buck in the bedroom and in the living room. blows yeah that's definitely not gonna work with Stephanie uh, plus it's it's kind of looking like this way it's not really following the rules of uh, mounting and his nose is all busted up so it just really didn't look good in here I mean again the fur on the limestone gorgeous but because he's looking off to the left that's why I wanted to put him on the left side of the fireplace so I'll figure out a mounting solution all right guys it is midday right now uh, I don't want to go out into the woods when it's like five o'clock getting dark um, when 
you know, animals might be starting to come out. I just don't want to like scare them, uh, scare them away. So I want to go out right now and hopefully they're taking a nap. It's like 92 degrees today in October in Texas, unbelievably hot for this time of year. But, uh, let's go out there and let's see if we can find the Creek. I, I know that there is a Creek back there somewhere and I've been wanting to find it. So let's go. All right, guys, let's, uh, Walk by the pond here, check it out. Look at that. Fresh. By the way, I noticed a pig here. There are pigs, just like uh, just like our other house, so. Uh, they're a problem, they're a problem here in Texas. Also wanted to say thank you for you guys' feedback on the pond. I do need to go back and watch some of Bama Bass's videos. And I also had a few pond management companies actually reach out to me uh, with, with some advice. Um, so that's awesome. So th thank you guys very much. I appreciate that. I know a lot of you have ponds or know people that have ponds or watch people that have ponds. So it helps me out. I've already walked right here, but there's, a, there's like a little brush line I haven't been past yet. Man, it's so dry. So, so dry right now. I'm walking this little creek bed that at one time had water in it for sure. Either the pond overflowed or water was coming from a creek way back here in the woods. Big bow darks along the creek. I always think it's cool when you're uh, you're walking in the woods. You see those orange roots that look like carrots. You're like, man, where's that coming from? And then you look up. There's there's a big bow dark. And uh, by the way, if you guys don't know, that is the tree. They call it bow dark. It has a lot of other names: uh, yellow locust, osage, orange. Um, there's a couple others. But that is the tree, that is the premier bow wood, besides the Pacific yew. It was very particular to the Comanches. They made some very bad A bows. There goes deer. We already spooked deer, like right here. I gotta keep going, man. This is this is what happened the other day. Quite honestly, I was I was going back here and I spooked some, and I stopped. I didn't want to go any further, but I think apparently they are living back here. All this tall grass is just good bedding area. Well, I already did what I didn't want to do and uh, spooked the wildlife, but it's just gonna have to be done. I got a curiosity's killing me. I gotta see what's back here. More Osage. trees right here. Looks like a big oak tree was here. Oh my gosh, massive, 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 massive pecans. That looks like an old cottonwood. It was either cottonwood or just a massive, massive pecan. It fell over and we've got another fallen boat arc. doing that nervous walk where it's like kind of like a strut. Shh, shh, shh. I think they're going around me to try to smell me. Kind of had a stuck spot getting through here. We're going to have to make our own path. I tell you what, you guys got to be careful around these boat arcs too because they have the young branches have thorns on them. Those right there. Very sharp. You gotta be careful with those. I don't think I wanna go through Bodark. Super hardwood. I'm gonna go around. Okay. 
Man, this is so thick. There's not a good way through here. Of falling trees and brush. Snaky as can be. Look at this. Holy cow. Man. These big pecans and oaks, a big storm must have knocked them down or they went down during a flood or something. God. So Osages are everywhere. That one is like perfectly straight for a bow. This is not very much land, but with how thick it is, it's taking me forever. Oh, look at these mushrooms. I wonder if we'll get any, uh, any cool mushrooms in the spring. Oh. Okay, here's a little pathway. creek right here this is I don't think this is the main one I don't think that's the creek guys I think there's a bigger one Animals definitely using this little creek. So this little ditch right here goes all the way to my pond. Look at that. There's another trail. How cool. <laughs> massive, massive trees here. I bet that pig came right up through here. Well, at some point, guys, this was just full of water. Look at, look at this tree. I mean, it is like not even in the ground. Look at the root system. That would be a large mouth haven. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Let's keep going to the main creek bed. Looks like a good spot for bees too. Something living under there. Oh, there's water in it. There is water in it. Oh, this is crazy. Alright, there's a little bit of water in it. 
This dirt has just been stirred up by all sorts of animals. Oh yeah, this is like Pig City. No wonder. I see some little little minnow activity, but it, it looks bad. The creek looks pretty nasty. Wow. All right, we have some semi-wet sand right here, so let's check it out and see what kind of animals we've had walking in here. Obviously a lot of deer. See a lot of deer. see any pig tracks at all something has been making some big holes in the sand over here all right so I don't see any bass but there are for sure blue eel in there so, we have a little creek edge here. Turkey feather. Turkeys! That's awesome. Oh! Oh, crazy! Oh yeah, I know what this is. Find. I don't know how I didn't see this walking in here. Walked right past it. Just had to look at it at a different angle. So, the piers, that right there, is two office chairs and an old crusty deer blind. And anybody that has uh, been on a deer lease before probably knows what that looks like. After you leave that stuff out for a couple years, it gets just, it gets blown away, it gets ripped up. You know, probably decent office chairs. I hate to see them go to waste, but somebody definitely hunted in the backyard. That is nuts. I mean, I guess it's not, because actually walking back here, I've realized, you know, a lot of the area is kind of manicured and my yard is not so it's just thick woods so it explains why these deer are bedding up in here and probably use this as a a little funneling way with this creek to come up here and stays cool i mean i'm looking at poop right now uh they like this spot for sure so that's good uh don't think i'm gonna hunt deer here but uh the pigs the pig aspect i definitely want to get rid of those because those things can be an absolute menace to the yard. We have returned from the great woods and we have found animals. Um, and not too far past the pond, there's, there was a daggum deer blind. I, I didn't even, where the heck did that come from? Also something I've wanted for a long time just for practicing uh, trad archery and even compound archery is some big mature trees to put up like a semi-permanent stand in uh, that's just real accessible where I can get up there and take practice shots at a 3D target and just practice my angles. You know, that's something that I have struggled with um, because I shoot my trad bow on the ground so much, uh, which is cool for like spot and stock, but most of the time I'm, I'm hunting up in a tree, an elevated position and that changes everything. So also a cool spot for that to set something up. So maybe have a, a spot to uh, like a platform, a little tree house to, uh, stick pigs and practice um, our target archery from at an elevated position. It's been a dream of mine to have an Osage tree in the yard because it's a, a, a very important tree in American history and uh, we got quite a few of them here. So it's, it's pretty awesome. That was a nice surprise. And one of them actually poked me in the hand and I'm swelling up. So gotta watch out for those Osage trees. But thank you guys for exploring the woods with me today. If you wanna see more here on the channel, you know what to do, subscribe. Smash the like button for outdoor greatness, and I'll see you on the